Can you hear us? Yes, I'm so sorry. I just mixed up the time zones. So sorry. <laughs> Not a problem at all. B Walt, you there? I am here and you were you weren't late. Don't worry about it. Homeboy is still doing the intro. Go ahead. Oh Can my do god. The intro, please. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Come on. All you right. gotta do it. You gotta do it. I, we have a guest, so you gotta do the whole thing. <laughs> Hi, uh, Alexander. I, how you doing, Miss Karen? Okay. I'm good. I apologize about the time zone mix up. I'm in you have nothing to apologize about. If anybody's got to apologize, this dude in the hat with the mask on, <laughs> trying to rob people through Zoom. I gotta apologize. I will mute your ass for this episode. Don't even play with me. <laughs> That's you that won't be the all the bullshit time. you want to talk about today. We can do that. Come on. If, now, if, I intro, language, bro, do the if I sign do, language, do, you know what I'm talking about. She, the, do the she's a guest. <laughs> do the intro already. Uh, you know what? I think it's time to do the intro since our guest is here. Brotherhood language approaching bro, conversation did, kinetically how many about did I say fiction. That? How many are you going to interrupt me? Are you going to? How many times are you going to interrupt me? Bro, you, are you going to interrupt me? Or are you going to? You going to let me do my job? Chris Paul and you, the Phoenix Suns. Chris Paul and you, the Phoenix Suns. You know you are Devin Booker. Why are we even having this discussion? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I will let you do the intro. That was a, a marvelous uh, shot there. You go ahead, bro. You, it's all you. It's all, you call me Devin for the, Booker. For the Next. fifth time this episode, Brotherhood Language approaching conversation kinetically about fiction. This is black as fuck. I am Alexander. This dude to my right on my phone is B. Walt with the hoodie, with the hat, with the mask. And we have enthusiasts from Tresse, poet, author, uh, sponsored by, brought to you by, from Atomic Basement, Mike Wellman in Long Beach. Miss Karen, say your last name for me, please. I don't want to butcher that. Kunovich. Kunovich. Alexander, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. For that lovely introduction uh good evening i'm happy right. to be here yay now, now you're with us from where are you exactly in the world right now i'm currently uh in new york but um i'm mostly based in manila and that's of course where i met the creators of trese back in the 90s back all the way back then wow okay yes Story time. Go right ahead. Let's go right with it. I was writing a column on, um, well, I had a column on pop culture called On the Verge in the 90s. So I write about music, um, geeky things like magic, um, you know, anything that was just kind of new, fresh, fun, preferably local. So um, budget Tan, the author, wrote me a letter and said, hey, you know, we're a group of comic book writers and enthusiasts. We're having an exhibit. Why don't you check it out? So I visited the exhibit and I instantly made friends um, with these guys. I love the art and I love the love for storytelling. And um, I, my thing was hanging out at bars and clubs that so, was your thing that's not your thing anymore what well, yes <laughs> <laughs> in the evening i'm in the pajamas and I don't know, <laughs> but back in the 90s so i would take him around and that's where he met my cousin hank um who he used as a bartender in the actual trese anime so wow hank also been doing the like uh I don't know, publicity circuit. So I'm I'm happy to like join in, chip in, um, talk about Tress and and I mean thanks so much for your support. Um that's how we met. You tagged uh Tresse, you tagged budget, and um uh you tagged Mike. So thank you. Um coming from the Philippines and Manila, it's it's just nice to see how how um the other parts of the world react to to the anime. That's Thank well. It's it's my pleasure. Um, we're we're very glad that you could join us. Uh, we appreciate uh, you uh, budget. Hopefully, we can get on on the show at some point yeah. as well. Uh, we want to thank 
Mike Wellman and Atomic Basement comics. He's not here. <laughs> he's not here. I, I think he's at the job right now. Okay. So um, he might jump in later. If he doesn't, uh, Karen, you're all we need. Um, <laughs> all right. Thank you. Yeah, you know, it, otherwise it'd be me and this other guy. And uh, the eclectic. That's that. Yes. Yes. Yes, indeed. Um, so, OK, well, again, thank you for being with us. Now, I've started watching the anime. Mm -hmm. uh, B. Walt, are, are you, where are you at with the Netflix joint with, with Tresse? Where are you? It is on my list of things to do this week. It's on your list of things to do. OK. All right. Well, I, I'm going to speak though, from, It looks though. I've it looks amazing. Yeah. I, um, I like the, the whole noir feel. Uh, I like I like the occult stuff. Um, it, it's 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 getting off to a good start for me. Uh, I'm in episode three. Um, okay. I'm uh was the guy just got she just got to the computer with the guy with the invisible ghost is playing uh yes. <laughs> Eternals yeah. two point or something like no four yes. four. Eternals yes. four. So um I I also have a, a, a backlog of things I'm watching. Um Loki is something yes, I'm watching. Well, I we'll talk I, about that later. Yeah, I don't mind talking about that too. <laughs> you said <laughs> right one on. over and thankfully I can I thankfully it's something I'm familiar with. So yes, willing to discuss and learn. Now, so how do you know like d where did you exactly meet? Atomic Basement, Mike Wellman. Where where did that come? I thought I met him. Well, uh, I ordered the comics, and uh, in 2016, and then I met him at Comic Con in 2017. Um, I brought him a bottle of Philippine rum, and uh oh, I will not provide alcohol for Mike Wellman at Comic-Con anymore. <laughs> no more. It's not going to happen again. I have promised the next beverage that he will receive is uh, coffee. <laughs> 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 um, sorry, Mike. You, don't, uh, now, <laughs> you can't to elaborate what happened when he got a, a, some of this Filipino, this amazing rum? Um... Don't do that to him. How do I? I don't, do I don't think Mike. I don't think Mike gives a shit. To be honest, don't with do you. that to him, man. I don't <laughs> we think know Mike how Mike gets down with the alcohol, Joe. Why would you do that? Don't do that to him. Man. He had I, a great time at us. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I gave it to them in the morning. I passed by the booth a little in the afternoon, and the whole thing was was bye gone. Bye. Just gone. Just <laughs> gone. Uh, how do I? put it nicely he was kind of um very sleepy i'm just putting it nicely very sleepy mike, mike is nothing if not consistent nothing that's, that's is not it. consistent that is that's his it. superpower like popeye and spinach right I get that alcohol he's good it's he's, a it's a yeah. it's a good episode it's but going to end well. I mean, he's smiling through it all, but <laughs> um, hi, Mike. If you're listening, I'm gonna get you very good coffee next time. I'm good I, coffee. I had no idea. Nobody warned me. Nobody. I mean, they he shared the bottle, but I just usually that bottle lasts a while. It's a large one, <laughs> but at the atomic basement booth, it's uh. That's amazing. Always a good time with Mike Wellman. We appreciate Always. Always. We appreciate him. We really do. Yeah, uh, we've known Mike, how long, B-Walt, since uh, 2019? That would be 20... Is it 2019? You know, you got to yeah, subtract a year for COVID, so... Oh, right, 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 right. Uh, right. That never happened. No. So, <laughs> so it's kind of like dog years. We've known him for like one year, but it's really... Three. So um yes. It's like that. Nah, that's, it's like that with yeah, it, really. Mike 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 has been amazing to us from jump. Uh we've known him before he was doing Atomic Basement. And uh he was always open arms with us. Um we appreciated him and he appreciated the work we were doing. And uh now nah, it's just, 
you know, yeah. it's great to have you on. This and, is becoming you know, Mike Bellman appreciation and storytelling because he is. We should get him some more rum. Just, I you know. know he's, oh, I don't know about that, but he's, he's, he's wonderful. <laughs> he's very um, supportive to other creators. And that's, you know, I mean, I love the energy and encouragement that he gives and the, the time that he, he devotes to, to people. He's such a people person. He likes connecting people. Um, we are here yes. together because of Mike. So thank you, Mike. Um, I hope you get to hear this. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so let's talk about Tresse for those that don't know what Tresse is. You know, how would you describe the story, the characters? you know, the comic itself. And from, from as someone that's read the comic and knows the comic, mm -hmm. how, how much has uh, been changed or the same as it is in the actual Netflix anime? Uh, you know, the key characters, they, they, they keep, they add a few new ones. Um, it's, uh, of course, the tone and, and the feeling is mostly the same, you know, it's horror. It's dark. There's a lot of action. The comic books, of course, are different. Is different from the series. But I don't mind when creators do that because you're enjoying the same thing almost all over again and just in a different format. And it gives something for fans to discuss. You know, I like this better. Why is this here? Why is this not here? Why did this? Why did they choose for this character? To go in this direction why was this incident left out um so trese for people who have yet to watch it it is a about a a supernatural a, a supernatural sleuth and uh -huh. uh, she sort of in i guess she's been compared to constantine um, she I love of, Constantine. That, yeah, yeah. That, I can see that. Yeah. She investigates very mysterious crimes. I mean, she deals with humans and human law enforcement. Um, but at the same time, she deals with mythical creatures. And um, one general reaction for the series is that it really captures Manila as mm -hmm. you know uh for people who live there um it feels accurate it feels like home the way they capture um the city the grit the grime um you have that city and you add the element of danger uh not just in terms of crime or you know uh dirty corrupt politicians but also supernatural beings so they capture the danger and the horror uh, really well and if you're into monsters and strange creatures then both the comic book and the series uh has that has a lot of that um the series though just moves really fast uh you're not gotcha. going to get bored i got I actually was quite overloaded with information. I'm like, oh my God, you know, we have to watch this again. Like what, what did he say? What did he do? What happened? What, how is this connected to this? But um, I've, I've been watching some of the fan reactions on YouTube and most of the reviews say that it really needed more episodes. Some things need to be, you know, slowed down a bit so you could understand, but all in all, I've been uh, quite happy that it's been getting a positive response. I didn't want it, you know, I just wanted to, am I biased because, you know, um, it's close to my heart. Uh, the creators are, are good friends. Uh, my cousin is, a, you know, was turned into a character. Is this just my bias or, you know, is this really a, a fun series? So thankfully, it's been getting a very positive response. And hopefully there's a, a season two. So it's, it's just exciting to just see your home city, which isn't exactly all that pretty. <laughs> 
<laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, they get the the mystery and and the you know again the mystery and the danger and you know most of us grew up hearing stories about these creatures you know the urban legends um and and all that so yeah so this is a part of the folklore that is in manila like yes like culture culturally yes yes uh ah, and and they, they ur urbanized some of the some of the mythic mythical mythological creatures you know these were very they, they were found supposedly like in nature but how would they be or where would they be in a city you know so gotcha it's uh and the u.s edition which i have let's have it right here that this u.s edition um has explanations uh, oh wow let's let's the, let's see that cover that looks good let me see let me see yeah. this is a, a cover and um whoa it's blurry there it is blurry yeah so there's nice this cover um and it has explanations in that book and it's sold out so i think uh there's no copies available and they're going to have to do another printing so i'm i'm very happy i'm always happy for um you know for creators that that uh that i know that that do well um it's just we all love our storytellers i don't have the talent for storytelling but i absolutely enjoy people who are how do you say it? raconteurs rock a raconteur a storyteller like mike is like you are <laughs> like eclectic i'm sure you guys if if you know we sat around and i listened to you and mike wellman tell stories i would be entertained who, who, doesn't, who doesn't love a good story you've told us two stories in the last 10 minutes young lady so uh yeah so we know we all... more about mike already um <laughs> and oh, i yeah. want some of this filipino rum with my <laughs> coffee you know if i am uh if things are okay and and i'm in uh los angeles i mean the west coast next year we we can have i will i, I but I'm sure you'll tolerate that stuff better than Mike. Mike, I'm so sorry. <laughs> we can only hope to 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 meet his standards. Uh, you know, there, there is no comparison to Mr. Mark Wellman. We love you, dog. We love you. Yes. Um. Well, so okay. So one last question about Tresse. Mm -hmm. Um, have you spoke to uh? Budgets? Am I saying his name right? Tell oh, me. Budget. 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 Okay. That's office budget. <laughs> I yes. didn't want to say budget, and then you know, but uh, yes, how does he I feel have. about the 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 turnout or how season one of his comic book has turned out? I think he's he's very happy, and people have been reaching out to him a lot, and he's uh you know tired but happy. When I spoke to him last, he told me that. He had run out of coffee because he's just uh he's just taking cup after cup of coffee so he can um accommodate you know the people who have been wanting to to talk to him so he's he's happy um his wife is happy i mean she was such a a large um she's really supported him through all this you know yeah the son is happy and his high school friends are happy uh it's just so many people are, are just just happy like it, it's it's a big deal what what they've um achieved and he is also somebody i mean he likes to engage with readers and i would say the only reason maybe he's not able to do it at the same level as before is is just that he's you know being pulled left and right for this or th or that but i think one strength is that on facebook he you know, he'll take time and it's not easy for every creator to do that. Some are very introverted. And if, if I was, I would be introverted, but he just, he, as much as he can, he will, and he sets up events and he just loves talking to, to them. So I think 
part of that is also um, fans just enjoying hearing from from the creator. So yeah, he's he's quite happy and Kajo now has so many followers on Instagram and they watch him draw. <laughs> nice. Like so yes, they're Hi there, Mr. Eclectic. How are you? Quiet. <laughs> He's uh no, nah, yeah, we were I, I was I was listening as well. Mm -hmm. Um okay, well that's uh I, I'm sure it's gotta be taxing and it yeah, it's uh again, congratulations to him. Please pass it on from Black AF from us. I will, I will. And uh again, we appreciate you being on.